In this video, I'll show you the easiest way to get started with hydroponics. The method I'll be using is a Kretke method, named after its inventor, Professor B. A. Kretke from the University of Hawaii. Using this method, you can grow vegetables, fruits, herbs and spices, indoor or outdoor, all year round. It was originally designed for leafy greens, such as lettuce, but it has later been demonstrated that it can also be used for other plants, although that requires a bit more maintenance. I successfully used the system myself to grow several different kinds of lettuce, and two types of strawberries. The big advantage of this system is that it requires little to no maintenance once set up, and doesn't need any electricity or special equipment, so it's perfect for beginners. The principle behind this method is as simple as it is brilliant. You start with a fixed volume of nutrient solution, about 4 to 8 liters per plant. As a plant grows, it uses the solution to grow, lowering the level of the water. This may look trivial at first, but it's crucial for healthy plants. For a plant to grow, it needs a couple of things. First of all, it needs carbon dioxide, which it extracts from the air through the leaves. Secondly, it needs water, which it gets through the roots. It also needs some chemical elements, like nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and some other trace elements to grow. These two are absorbed via the roots. Because of the great impact of the roots function on plant growth, you can understand why healthy roots equal healthy and strong plants. And there's one important factor for healthy roots that is often overlooked. Oxygen. The beauty of the Kretke method is that it automatically provides oxygen to the roots and adjusts the amount of oxygen to the rate of plant growth. The more nutrient solution is used, the bigger the plant and the roots get, and the lower the water level in the tank will be, providing enough oxygen to the roots. Now let's begin. We start out in the usual way. You'll first need some seeds, some cocoa pellets, and water. Place a couple of cocoa pellets in a plastic greenhouse. I just use two plastic food containers and tape them together. This is a lot cheaper, but you can of course also buy one ready-made. Next, add some water and allow the pellets to soak it all up. Keep adding water in small amounts at a time, until they are fully saturated. Next, shake some seeds on a paper towel. Gently place one or two seeds in a pellet, then lightly cover the hole with the seed in it. Once you have placed the seed in all the pellets, close up the greenhouse and place it in a warm and light spot, for example in front of a window, and wait for the seedlings to appear. In the meantime, you can start constructing the grow boxes. Buy some plastic containers, cut holes in the lids for the net cups, insert the net cups, and you're done. Once the box is ready and the seedlings are a couple of centimeters tall, you can place them in net cups and fill the rest of the cup with clay pebbles. Fill the boxes with nutrient solution to a level so that the bottoms of the net cups are submerged by about 5 centimeters. For a more detailed video on how to do all of this, you can click here. Once you have set up your Kretke system, all you have to do is place it in a sunny spot or under a grow lamp and wait. After a couple of weeks, your homegrown vegetables should be ready for harvest. Fruit like strawberries takes a bit longer to grow from seed, but expect results after about two months. For slow growing plants, you should check the fluid level once every couple of weeks and top it up if needed. For lettuce, you can just set it and forget it, and just restart the whole system every month or so after harvesting. If you want to read the original scientific paper on this method, you can find the link in the description below. If you have any more questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching!